Keyboard Maestro is a way to supercharge your Mac. If you spend any amount of time working on your Mac, there'll be many things that you do repetitively, many things that you find slightly irritating, many times you wish applications worked more the way you do. Keyboard Maestro can help with all of these and much more. As with most applications, you'll get more out of it if you're willing to spend a bit of time learning how to use it. At its heart, what Keyboard Maestro does is very simple. You tell it what to do and when to do it. The what is a sequence of actions and the when is a set of triggers. And each individual thing you define is called a macro. There are dozens of triggers and hundreds of actions, but you already know the basics of Keyboard Maestro. Let's look at some examples. Something you do repetitively is probably type your name. If we create a simple macro that triggers when you press Ctrl N and types in your name, it would look something like this. You can choose Tutorial from the Help menu in Keyboard Maestro and it'll run you through creating a macro similar to this. If we look at the parts of the macro, there is the name at the top, then the trigger telling Keyboard Maestro when you want the macro to run, and then the actions specifying what you want to happen. When Ctrl N is pressed, type my name. Keyboard Maestro may look a bit intimidating, but it's really very simple. Triggers and actions. When the trigger happens, Keyboard Maestro should do the actions. Now think of all the similar things you do repetitively. Type your email address, suburb, the current date, etc. What about websites? Do you visit a set of websites frequently? Change the action and Keyboard Maestro will open a web page for you. How about applications? Change the action and Keyboard Maestro will open an application for you. How about documents? Change the action and Keyboard Maestro will open a document for you. Hopefully you're starting to get the idea. You hit a key and Keyboard Maestro does something for you. But hitting a key is just one of the many triggers. There are probably many things you do regularly, but not often enough, to warrant remembering a key for. You can put them in a palette or in the menu bar and trigger the macro that way. What about fixing irritating applications? Perhaps you have an application and every time you launch it, it forgets where the windows go and you have to move and resize them. Keyboard Maestro has a trigger for when an application launches and an action to move and resize windows. Build a new macro and every time you launch the application, Keyboard Maestro will fix the window positions for you. How about an application where every time you create a new object, it puts your cursor in the wrong place and you're forever having to press tab five times to get the cursor where it belongs. Make a new macro, give it whatever trigger you like, have it select the menu to create the object and then press tab five times. Many applications that behave badly can be fixed in this way. There are endless other possibilities. Set up your Mac at 8am every morning. Launch one application and have it launch three others. Watch for changes in your Dropbox folder and process the new files. Launch mail when you connect to your home wireless network, and so on. This is just a taste of what Keyboard Maestro can do to help you.